how are you? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, you know, breathing without any apparatus. And so <laughs> that helps, you know, no, we're, we're okay, we're, we're getting by. Well, welcome to Backstage at Cap U. Okay. It feels really strange to be doing a show with you like this, Jim, of all the shows and all the fun we've had over the years yeah. On, oh, yeah. on stage. So now we're on video screens and and we're and we're talking, but it's Yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a, a crazy time. I mean, we we've been lucky. I've, we've done a a number of uh, live stream concerts and uh I've had some in fact last weekend uh, you know, Frankie's Jazz Club has managed to to stay open and to uh, jump through all the hoops. And we had a live gig with 50 people in the room uh, on the weekend. Two two nights we sold out. So that's been good. I mean, it's it's. I, we, I started out playing in coffee houses, so for so playing for 20 people is kind of yeah. I remember this. Feels and, a little uh, for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, I think things will uh, hopefully. Things are starting to get move in the right direction, and uh, but we've been, uh, you know, it's frustrating, and and also, I mean, the, the fact that I had never really wanted to retire, but I planned to, so I'm not in the situation that a lot of musicians are in, where they're completely, you know, hand to mouth and living on government uh, to, to take, you know, serve and all that stuff. I've been able to avoid that because we. We're, we're kind of set, you know, which which helps. I mean, in terms of uh, just mental health, it's uh, I'm not worried about where where rent or my next meal is coming from. Of course, like a, like a lot of people are. You've you've managed two very busy careers, uh, one in the music world and in the film and TV world. So yeah, have you be, have you continued to work in TV? Films? I have had ahead a few things uh, and have have got a. A uh, couple things on the uh, on the back burner right now that I'm waiting to hear about. Well, that's a nice position to be in. For sure. Oh, it's it's unbelievable. I can remember what the first show we did together, Jim. I think wow. It was, I think it was Presentation House Theater that you you did you agreed to do two nights. Yeah. Okay. At, at yeah. A little theater, and it yeah. was a kickoff for North Shore Jazz Series. Yeah. yeah I suppose I, I suppose that was that you know that I remember that you know that's a. A, a neat little space. Once again, it's like going back. It's kind of retro, you know, a little, a little theater like that plan. And it, yeah. so I imagine that when since then, we've got we've done a whole lot of shows and some uh, big crowds and some great music. And yeah, and we've made you know a lot, a lot of other you know good friends that we've made over the years with people we brought into town and people worked on Steve's shows and it's been a, it's been a blast. Can hope, sure hope to get back to that at some point. Yeah. Time will tell. It always does. <laughs> well, it's funny that we that you brought up our shows together with Steve because I have a secret special guest that's waiting to come onto the call to say hello, Jim. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and who so, might that be? <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them in right now. <laughs> hey. hey. Okay, I'm gonna hang up. Sorry. <laughs> Holy cow. This John is... Hammond, how wonderful to see you. Can you hear us okay? Everything's great. I can hear you. Yeah, wonderful. It's funny, I was thinking about you guys yesterday. I was just, as I was driving around. And... So it's great to see you. Jim, I wanted to surprise you. and, and Yeah, well, you did. And bring John he certainly in. Did. He... Jimmy, I've known him for uh, more than 50 years. <laughs> yeah. More than 50 years. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, got way some bit. great stories, but I got I got a couple of really good ones. Uh, Ray, I, I, yeah, I I, I uh, asked John Jim to you know tell a, tell a couple of Jim Burns stories for us. <laughs> or, well, let's let's people. carry on. Should, should I put a bag over my head? <laughs> <laughs> well, this could go on forever. I mean, I've got so many stories, but I got a couple that that come to mind. Um, Jim, as you know, is from. St. Louis, and uh, I was doing a gig down there, and Jimmy happened to be in town seeing his parents, and he took me all around town uh, to see all the spots where he used to hang out, uh, the train station where we reflected that Robert Johnson must have spent, it, spent time on his way from point A to point B. Um, 
he took me to places where he saw Muddy Waters and Howling Wolf and Jimmy Reed and a lot of the great artists. And it really, it really gave me a, a flash of, you know, his past and his inspirations and so forth. And so I was uh, living in New York City and uh, Jim was going to be in New York to give a, a talk, I guess. And um, but he had some time off and I wanted to take him around New York to reciprocate. We went out to dinner and we decided to go check out some local jazz joints. We saw Cecil Taylor there and uh, he was uh, <laughs> particularly bizarre. We walked out as I remember. <laughs> anyway, we decided to, to, to end the evening at the, the White Horse Tavern, which is uh, infamous uh, New York watering hole. Uh, I'd only been in there a few times. There was, in the past, I'd seen the Clancy brothers hang out there and whatever, but I decided we'd go into uh, the White Horse and have a drink. And uh, we walked in the door and the whole crowd at the bar and the bartenders all looked at Jimmy and said, lifeguard. <laughs> and it was, uh, Something I wasn't really familiar with, uh, Wise Guy at the time, but they all were. So I was like chopped liver. Nobody knew who the hell I was. <laughs> we walked yeah, he was in, in and, your uh, town, John. He <laughs> couldn't pay for a drink. Um, everybody just wanted to buy him rounds. And uh, we sat there, and it was just like I was watching another aspect of Jim I didn't know. Everybody in the bar was just flipping out that Jim was there. It was a great day and uh, just one of many experiences I've had with Jim over the years. <laughs> Last one was uh, in North Van when we had the Tom Waits tribute, which was truly delightful. Oh, it was a big it highlight played. for all of us, John, believe me. It was, it was unforgettable. And to see everybody hanging out with David Hidalgo and all these great players and, it was just amazing. Every every time I have a chance to be out west, and I'll always uh, look up Jimmy and uh, hang out. He's just one of the greatest guys I know. My wife Marla and Robin and Caitlin, and they, you know, we just love to hang out. It's just one of those amazing things. I love this. Well, I'm I'm so missing the gigs. Uh, but I, I'm missing the hangs just as much. Because, oh yeah, that's you know, that's so much. Not, yeah, it just reaffirms how much a family this business becomes for us. Yeah, well, let's you know, can't care, can't wait for that day when we get able to get back together again, whether it's yeah, I'm here, really here or in New York or somewhere around the planet. Yeah, you know? <laughs> whenever, wherever I'm ready. Exactly, uh, exactly, man. So good to see you. Oh man, I guess, I'll tell you. <laughs> Tell so, me, tell me how you guys met. I'm, I'm curious. Playing in New York, I think. Uh, yeah, it was, it was in the, in the, in the village in New York, and you had this guy uh, named uh, Jimmy James playing guitar in your band. Right. You know, you had this fantastic band, and I was a huge fan of yours. I had all your records at that time, and uh, so I kind of, you know, introduced myself. He whiz, Mr. Hammond. <laughs> and anyway, here we are, a lot of years later. What a wonderful experience, and to have hung out with you all over, uh, playing gigs together at the Yale Hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here, there, and everywhere. John, how have you been during this, this strange Oh, we've been hanging in here. Um, it's not much going on in terms of work. Uh, I did the Zoom concert uh, about eight months ago. Other than that, nothing has really happened. I, I did a, a recording session with Duke Rovillard uh, last week. So I'll be uh, appearing as a guest artist on his new album. Nice. Um, other than that, there's not a lot going on. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're well and healthy. And Yeah, we're, we're good, Jack. Okay. Have a very small, I mean, there's, there's me and Robin and the dog and Caitlin and the uh, the employees at the wine shop. <laughs> That's right. It's pretty much my bubble these days. Wine but like I say, we, we did have a, and 
Simon Kendall, who I'm who's playing piano with me these days. We, we have had, like I say, last weekend we had we, we did two nights at the Frankie's Jazz Club, which was a you know limited audience and everything's distance, but it was playing live music for a, a group of people that are in the room with you. It was pretty good because because everybody you know I mean the crowd. I mean, we could have, you know, just dumped all over the room. And I think people would have loved it because people are so hungry. Oh, people yeah. are so hungry to, you know, so get out and hear some live music. And uh, so, But it was a good weekend. Jim, I have another guest that just showed up that wants uh -oh. to come in to our little, our little hang here, our little Zoom hang. All right. There we are. There he is. I'm in an automobile. You're driving in your car, Steve? Well, I'm not moving. I'm parked. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's hope so. Or, or maybe you got one of those cars that drives itself. They got off. Well, welcome, Steve, all the way from. So we got Steve from Nashville, John from New Jersey. Great reunion, uh, Steve. We were we were talking a little bit about um, the great show we did together, honoring Wicked Grin, the Tom Waits album uh, that so John fun. did, um, and what a great experience it was having David Hidalgo, and. Uh, Going back a little bit in the 50-year history of Jim and John, how long they've known each other, when they met in New York for the first time. Crazy, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, we've been re reliving some uh, some good stuff, you know. Some I bet times in New York and times in St. Louis and times here in Vancouver. So yeah, yeah, it marches on, man. We're and we're still here, still doing it, and uh, you know. <laughs> That's... Under weird circumstances now, but we are yeah. we're yeah. still making music. Where are uh, John? Are you at are you at home, John? Or are you yeah, uh, are you home. elsewhere? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, everything's good, man. Good yeah. to see you, Steve. Gee. You too, man. No, the the album that that, that I made, you know, uh, recording with Jimmy was was also one of those wonderful days. <laughs> That was really fun. Yeah, crammed in my garage. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I, I did a an interview with a woman in England, in Plymouth, England, who's got a radio show, and she played a bunch of stuff from St. Louis Times. Oh yeah, stuff that, that we're all on. Yeah, yeah. So we awesome. we, we talked we talked about she she really loved the album, and uh, we played the yeah, uh, stuff. Oh, Cake Alley that John plays guitar on, and uh, you know it's uh, we, yeah. So you, you never know. <laughs> well, John, I'm conscious that that you you need to go, and uh, but so great to have you on the call and to see you, and I sure look forward to getting you back to Vancouver, and we can all we have fun way, again. Man. Until we meet again, brother. Thanks so much. Uh, that was how was that, Jim? Was it, did that surprise you? Uh, it, what, yeah, a fantastic surprise. What's funny? I mean, I really, I literally. Uh, yesterday I was driving, I had gone to get do something and I was parking my car and I thought, man, I had to phone John. I've been just, was, I've been thinking about him and we, I, I talked to him maybe about two or three months ago, I phoned and we just, you know, said hi and bye and uh, thinking about him just yesterday. And so, so here we are. Right. Really, and thank taking you. care of, taking care of it all at once. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and you too, I mean, I, I keep meaning to, to get back to you about that uh, doing that that song thing, I still uh, I've got a yeah, couple man. things in I got a couple okay. things in mind, and I will I'll, I'll email you and uh, okay we'll, yeah we'll I'll I'll get that. you set up as soon as you pick some. So how's uh how are you been busy with uh, recording people all over the yeah yeah it's been uh, I mean you know everything kind of takes like three times as long these days well yeah yeah you know like there's all this file swapping and sort of like technical hurdles to overcome every day. There's like all these new issues and stuff, but uh, yeah, keeping busy and like trying to, you know, make, make music as, as much as possible. And yeah. it's, uh, it's working out. Yeah. Yeah. And you moved. We moved. Yeah. yeah. We're over in, in, in East Nashville and we love living over there. It's just, there's oh, more yeah. action and it's just yeah, like yeah. more I mean, in the, in the heart of the, the right, city. Yeah, really. yeah. Yeah. That's good. And uh, but, Alice and uh, Casey are soldiering on. I <laughs> yeah, Casey went back to school about two weeks ago. Uh, oh, did she? Yeah. So yeah. that's her first first time she set foot in uh, in her high school. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah. And, okay, are you uh, kidding? Yeah. How was? We're just. Were you guys homeschooling? Yeah, I mean, you know, basically, sort of. I mean, you know, it, it, it it's a stretch to call it schooling. <laughs> <laughs> what we were doing, <laughs> but we were, you know, home 
home babysitting <laughs> for a teenager. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're 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 taking a road trip right now. We're on our way to uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Oh yeah. Oh, so they're in the car with you. Just Casey. It's just Casey and I going up to Asheville for a couple of days. Ah, okay. Yeah, we basically haven't left home for a year, so it's like yeah. this is like <laughs> this is one of our first, first getaways, really. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to go off the road for. Yeah, of course, no problem. For a little hang with us, fantastic. that's fantastic. Well, Jim, when I uh, when I want to do this show with you, a big part of the show is doing a blindfold t test. So yeah, yeah. my first call was to Steve. I'm like, you know, I want to do a deep dive into the blues, and I want to pick, want to curate a really good list for you. And I'm like, why don't we co-curate this? So you pick one, I pick one, and, and give me give me some hints too. Um, have you guys having spent so many time so much time together produced seven albums together since 2004 first one being fresh crazy Horses. wow um, so uh that's how this came about was we wanted to make sure we had the best blindfold for you jim <laughs> so, so you can really embarrass me <laughs> Lack of... <laughs> that wasn't the point no, it meant to be a, a nice deep dive into the blues. Are we starting with one of my songs or one of your songs? I think we're starting with with, with my song, actually. What if I know the song? Do I get to do I get to beat Jim to the punch? No, you don't get to guess. <laughs> name that tune. I can okay. name that tune in no notes. <laughs> All right, Jim, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's a. I got got blood in my eyes for you. The Chapman brothers nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> so right. you know, I I wanted you, to play this one because of what a deep history we all have with the Mississippi Sheiks. Um, yeah. So Steve, I thought you know, you picked this this sort of obscure band from the twenties and thirties country blues string band from the south and you just generated this great album it became uh, a big concert for you and i jim you were on the record you were part of the show uh at cap for two nights and it was kind of like the start of our big collaborative shows together there was a pretty cool tribute to the to uh, mississippi john hurt that had come out that was curated in a cool way and it was people like not just trying to recreate his music and so we sort of took that as a inspiration point i guess and wanted to get people from all aspects of music that that would have been influenced or inspired by their music and sort of take it in some new directions and, and a few people that were real traditionalists as well Jim was the first person I asked. I knew he would be into it. And and I asked him if he thought John would be into it. And pretty soon after that, we had John Hammond on board, which definitely um, helped the cause. And Bruce Colburn came on early. And so having those three guys, John, Jim, and Bruce Colburn, seemed to kind of steamroll the thing to, into the next level pretty quickly. <laughs> and uh, so that's just, you know, there's there was a lot of facets to the recording, but that's sort of how the initial thing came together. Jim, were you a fan of the Mississippi Sheiks when when Oh well, yeah, I, I was I was aware and, and I, actually I had done uh back in it might have been seventy five in St. Louis I had I had done a show with Sam Chapman, who was the last of the uh the last he was of the cool. Ball. I know you love another man, but that's all right. Every nine and again I wonder Tonight. Yeah, wow. quite a character. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so I really, you know, I had done a show with 
with him at uh, down on, on the Laclede's Landing, right up on the river there in St. Louis, down on the riverfront. And uh, so we and we had spent. Uh, I did a show with Furry Lewis there too, and uh, we wow. had spent a bunch of time. And so that's, it's a real that's connection, history, to, man. A real connection to the real thing. You know, we had gone down to Memphis uh, to Furry's house, where he sat with a, you know can of beer and a, and a loaded pistol in his lap. Wow. <laughs> and, and you never knew, you know, he was at that point and, uh, where sometimes uh, you didn't know what he was going to do with that pistol. <laughs> wow. But That's yeah, heavy. so yeah, yeah, he was uh, quite a character, but yeah, but, but having done those shows uh, and also did a show with, uh, with Roosevelt Sykes on the, in that same. Wow. Uh, Amazing. So yeah. Yeah. A real connection to the real thing. It's it's uh, amazing. Another you know fantastic memory we had was uh, with the band uh, and the, the Sojourners. Steve and I uh, played uh, across the street from uh, Rogers Arena, where the, just before the final game, the, the gold medal game, uh, a hockey game that uh, of course Canada took on the the golden goal from Sydney Cross from Sydney Kid. So yeah. that was that was that was an exciting day. I mean, that, there was some electricity went. flowing in the air that day. Oh man, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> and a few beers. And a few <laughs> beers. <laughs> Don't you know that I love you Honest I do I wouldn't never place No heart above you Please tell me that you love me Stop driving me mad You the sweetest little woman That I ever had Don't you know that I love you Honest I do I would have never placed no on above you. Please tell me that you love me. Stop driving me mad. When I woke up this morning. I never felt so bad
Yes, Lord. Thank you.